uh, this is my presentation on uh, Alabama National Recreation Trails. I've been working on this for a good while now. But since I'm new here, I've made a little introduction slide. So I've been on Olympic Maps since 2020. I'm active on the Slack, Olympic Map US Slack, the World Discord, and uh, on the Wiki. And I see a lot of names in here from Slack. So you're probably some of you have seen me before. I post a lot on there. And uh, yeah, I'm, I live in Auburn, Alabama. I spend most of my time editing features in Alabama, anything from road classification to communication math. So how I started going on. Um, National Recreation Trails. I went to this page on the Wiki, United States Public Lands National Park Service. And near the bottom of the page, the page documents like um, parks and lands that the National Park Service operates and how well they're mapped on up to map. And there's a little section here called uh, National Historic and Scenic Trails, which linked to this page, United States National Trail System. But at the time that I was reading, it didn't exist. So I just went ahead and created it myself. And um, there's a the page now because it does exist. So on that page, um, I started with National Historic Trails and National Scenic Trails. And National Historic Trails aren't really trails, they're just um, like routes that used to exist. And now they're more like a bunch of monuments along a road, so it's harder to relate, uh, you know, convey that in Open Street Map now. But National Scenic Trails, those are more like long distance hiking routes. And they're, uh, you know, there's all, they're pretty much all mapped. You can see most of the relations are filled out because, you know, Open Street map Mappers are much more interested in getting those in there. And so after completing those, you know, I got a lot of help from uh, user Skunkman56. He uh, added all the Wikipedia links and some of the information for each one. And after that, I moved on to National Recreation Trails. But uh, it, it isn't as easy to create a table for National Recreation Trails since there's about uh, 1,300 of them, as you can see on the National Recreation Trail database here, and all the little points are a trail. And so I, so I figured it would be better just to track it on an individual state-by-state -state basis. I got started with my own state, and um, I feel like that might set a good example. So National Recreation Trails aren't really like all of, all of the uh, National Historic Trails and National Scenic Trails. They can be a variety of things, mostly, uh, you know, recreation stuff like hiking, cycling, paddling, horse riding, or uh, ATV routes. And um, they come either as individual trails or as trail systems. And these trail systems mean like an agency like a state park or you know like a local park would have some land that they own and rather than designating a single trail on their land which may not be very significant they'll designate all the trails which makes it you know more appealing from the national recreation trail database and so in overview map we have a tag for um you know single trails that's the the relation route which you can use to designate a hiking route or a recycling route and um you know things like that but there's no there's not really a defined tag for um you know, a series, a collection of routes like like these um, networks that exist. And um, so I tried to find something that was applicable, and um, I came across this uh, network relation, which um, apparently was spawned out of some argument between a couple of uh, European mappers, and the usage really isn't even that clear. Like you can see on this wiki page, it says, most commonly this has been used to map cycling and walking node networks, you know, whatever that means, and that's not really what it is. And so I just adopted this tag to use for these network routes, you know, because I couldn't think of anything more applicable. And um, there's also this other thing that I found is that uh, OpenStreetMap, Map, this map built by Europeans and you know people like that for their European standards, they didn't have a tag for uh, ATV routes, which are more of a rural Alabama thing than a Germany kind of thing. And so I made that tag too, so I could uh, designate those as well. So there's in Alabama at least there's a few different agencies that make uh, trails and trail, lands for trails, and so one of them is the Alabama Land Trust, which is mostly lands around Huntsville and North Alabama, and then there's the Department of Conservation and Natural Resources. They, they go more commonly by Outdoor Alabama and the Alabama Forever Wild, and they have a lot of land that overlap, and so you see, and they mostly it's hunting land, but pretty rarely you'll see a trail in there, and some of them are even designated uh, National Recreation Trails. I figure it's worth a mention. And then there's Alabama State Parks, which has quite a few state parks that have their their uh, system of trails designated as National Recreation Trails. And then most other trails are either maintained by like a local city or by an individual organization, like a Penote Trail. So here's some examples of um, the kind of data that you can get available for each of these um these trails. Like it, it varies wildly between trails. And so a good example is um, Chihuahua State Park, which is a mountain biking you know destination in Auburn. And uh, you can see they have on their website, they had this really nice PDF map that had all these trails that were easy to read. And they're even labeled and, and, and even listed on the side there. 
with the name and everything. It's really easy to line up. And then because it's mountain biking, you can also see really detailed uh, favorite heat map imagery. And that was really useful to map those as well. And that was it turned out really well as well. And so, you know, more modest kind of uh, quality of data is this one in the middle, which um, is, the, is called uh, Manuka State Park. And it's kind of an ATV trail type destination. And the best map they had was this sort of 2007 topo map that, that someone had printed out. And then they got their buddy to draw, draw all the trails for the marker. It may not be easy to see here, but that is what it is. And then some of the worst data you can get is like this uh, Forever Wild uh, Freedom Hills trail system which um, has a website and everything but like you, know, you kind of have to do some digging on this licensing map and it's not very clear where the trail is and it's really hard to map but i eventually got it done with some help of the imagery available so here's some of the imagery you can find um you can find trails but uh it's not easy to see them using conventional like uh you know visual imagery like bing or history because um, the trees will cover your trail and they're not very wide and you can't see them from the imagery. So the next best option is the USGS topo map, which will reveal some of the more major trails and some of the roads, like older pay, unpaved roads around your trails, and that can be useful to an extent. But the best two options are the Save a Heat map and the USGS uh, 3D elevation program, which um, is available in JASM. And the 3D elevation program can really highlight um, some trails that are more well-trodden, and you can see the, the cuts in the land. And then the Save a Heat map, if people have walked on it, it becomes a lot easier to see, you know, where the trails are. It makes it easy to map them as well. So here's a rendering of um, a park in northeast Alabama. Uh, it's it's a mountain biking destination as well. And you can see, and this is on Waymark Trails, which is a great website for this kind of rendering. And um, you can see all the routes that uh, none of these existed before. And I mapped out all the res recreation trails here. And you can see the little fields with their names uh, abbreviated with a little reference. And then... Some of them I even added colors because they would be called like orange trail or blue trail. And you can see those as well around the center. And this even put the colors in on, open, on Waymark trails. And so that's really nice to see. And so that's, that's a good example. I liked a lot having so many trails to see. It renders really well on, on Waymark trails and it's really good exemplary of your progress. And so here's Swakla from, from before. And you can see all the fields as well here, which really shines. You know, it looks good. And I like it. That's what makes it fun to map because you can see it on Waymark trails. Like, and Waymark Trails updates nearly instantly, so it's always fun to put stuff up and then go in there a couple minutes later and see all the data available for you to see. And so for this, for some things, uh, Waymark Trails doesn't render like these ATV reels. This was an old uh, military installation north of a town in the northeast of the state, and uh, it had been converted into a sort of ATV type place where you can take it out and ride along the trails. And so for this one, I mapped out as it all in single relation, but you can't see on Waymark Trails, but I open the object individually in OpenStreetMap, and you can see all of the trails now, but it's not as good as a Waymark Trail. And so there's also this other thing, which is National Water Trails, and these can be pretty long, like 300 miles. There's only one in Alabama. It's called the Alabama Scenic River Trail, and it's a lot of navigable rivers, anything from the Tennessee River to a lot of, like, Delta-type routes and everything. And, um, and so... It's very hard to map these because sometimes the information online is pretty sparse, but they are. I, I couldn't find any that were on a machine map that were mapped anywhere in the nation, but they're, um, you know, they need to be mapped, in my opinion, at least. And they are paddling routes. You know, you take a canoe or a kayak on the navigable river and paddle down it. And that's what these routes are for. And they'll have um, like boat ramps and slipways and everything along it so you can get put in, put out, and maybe even campsite too for some of the better ones. So uh, if you want to get involved, there's, um, and on the same page I showed you before, the National Trail System page, near the bottom, there's a National Recreation Trail section. And I made a table of all the states with uh, progress you can track on your own page. And it's a pretty uh, lonely table here with just one state. But uh, you can always add your own and um, upload your own data and make your own trails from the National Recreation Trail database, which seems pretty uh, accurate source. And it's public domain because it's the U.S. government, which is nice. And then that's all I got. So thank you.